Yo, what's up? Welcome back to the video. I just created an intro. Comment down below what you think of my new intro that I made. It's pretty amazing, so here we go. The new dub on the track. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Reed. If you've seen the other videos on my channel, they're kind of like really terrible quality. And it's because I had this other camera and it was a, it was not that great. So I bought a new camera and I'm thinking to myself, what should I make videos on? Because I'm, you know, obviously I should make videos with this. Then I had a great idea, which is the most unoriginal idea you've probably have ever heard. But I'm like, I could teach Japanese. As someone who's learned Japanese as a, like a second language, not natively, I'm like, hmm, instead of explaining exactly grammatical points, I could explain how it makes sense. I could just take these points that I've learned and explain them simply. More people can get it. And then when I forget it in the future, because I have to move back to the United States, I can just watch my own video and remember how to do it. Okay, so the first thing that I think that you should know before learning Japanese is it it's gonna take a lot of time, probably your entire life. If, I mean, if you learn that long, you know, you'll, you'll never stop learning. So yeah, you're fine taking a long time learning how to learn the language or whatever. That's totally fine, you know, things take time. The next thing you need to understand is the reason why you wanna learn it in the first place. Lots of people wanna learn Japanese, they do, and it's a cool language to learn but they don't really know why. If you wanna learn Japanese just because of anime, you know, I don't know how far your motivation will take you because it's all about being able to stay motivated because if you don't stay motivated, you're not going to go very far. If you're like trying to fundamentally understand the language at its core, yeah, that's kind of, you need to understand why you wanna learn in the first place. All right, so uh, the third thing that I think, uh, you know, you should know before learning Japanese is that this is actually, this is just kind of a general rule and for any language learning and kind of lots of things in general. If you don't use it, you lose it, right? So if you don't end up using Japanese ever, if you don't ever try practicing Japanese or never try doing anything with it, you're gonna lose it, you're gonna forget it. And that's just a fact. So uh, yeah, if you don't use it, you're gonna lose it. Okay, so the fourth thing that you need to know is that Japanese and English or whatever language you're learning, they are never going to be a one-to-one -one correlation. And I think that's a huge issue that I think people don't understand and they can't make sense of. If you only speak one language and you're learning a new one, the concept of something not translating one-to-one -one doesn't m make a whole lot of sense. It's kind of hard to grasp it as someone who is learning as a second language. Just because you're so used to speaking in a certain way, you know, the grammar, all that kind of stuff, it's like so ingrained into your mind that it's hard to understand how ingrained it is and it, there's never going to be this one-to-one -one correlation and because of that it's going to be a lot harder to learn okay so the last thing the fifth and last thing that you need to know is you cannot be afraid to speak with japanese people you have to speak with native speakers and i say japanese people because the only country in the world that speaks japanese is japan so the only people you're going to be able to talk to who speak this language are Japanese people. This is my favorite app right here. Bam, Hello Talk. I'm not sponsored. I only have 47 subs. I'm not sponsored, but you should definitely check this app out. You can talk to native speakers on it. There's nothing even close to speaking with native speakers. Like the next best thing to that is immersion. And that's kind of like not possible for lots of people. So your second best option is to speak with native speakers. And if you talk with them, you could better kind of understand how their mind works, how the language works, and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching this new video on my new quality at freaking 1080, uh, f uh, what is it called? Um, 1080p and 60 frames and leave a like, leave a comment, leave a sub, leave a favorite, leave all the things that you're able to leave here and give them to me for free. Thank you. Anyway, bye. The new dub on the track. Plus two is four, minus one, that's three quick moves. The day man from the pump, smoke trees.